everyone talked about the rare earths again, and that doesn't mean the uh, I'm the most they are the most feasible to be extracted. But uh, they, they, everyone knows they're used in permanent magnets, so they go in the in the windmills or electric cars and whatnot. Also, screens for uh, yeah, mo mobile phones or computers, TVs, whatnot. That's just rare earths, but I mean, uh, half the periodic table can be found in Greenland, so. So well, the main challenges are, of course, the remoteness. So if, even in the south where it's populated, there's uh, basically a few roads and uh, no railways. Or, and so any mining venture would have to create this accessibility, also generate power locally. And also it's a very important matter is manpower. So Greenland has not been traditionally very mining country, so there's, there's no skills. Uh, so people would have to be trained or brought from somewhere else. It's underexplored. So in the other countries, there's been more extensive exploration and because they also have better infrastructure. And so the resources have been found and they've been developed and there's more mining while Greenland has been sort of sheltered and remains unexplored. But the geology is favorable. Just need to have, yeah, the, the will and the capacity or the motivation to go and, and actually do the finding and the development. 